All right, hello everybody, it's The Last Hodler here, and as you probably know, I am one of the lead blockchain developers for a UK blockchain company called Online Blockchain. And this is gonna be the fifth video where I go into detail about how you can create your own altcoins. Um, so you better subscribe if you wanna learn how to do that, or just learn generally about the tech of Bitcoin and blockchains in general. Um, so let's get started here. We're gonna be talking about something today called seed nodes, why they're important to your cryptocurrency and how they work, what exactly they do all right so in the context of the Bitcoin network all right you're gonna you're gonna want to join the Bitcoin network for the first time okay when you get the wallet or whenever you're doing uh, a transaction from one person to another your um, your wallet or wherever you're sending the coins from has to connect to the Bitcoin network and the first time it connects to the Bitcoin network it's not going to know um, who's on the Bitcoin network, who to talk to. So we need something called seed nodes to be the first point of entry into the network, all right? So when the first time you join the network as a Bitcoin user, you query um, one of the seed nodes and you say, I would like to join the network, please. Can you please send me back a list of peers and also start letting me download the blockchain off you so that I can have a copy of the blockchain and join the consensus um, mechanisms of the protocol, which allows us to have a decentralized currency system, okay? So, as you can probably imagine, um, seed nodes are going to be your entry for anybody who wants to join the Bitcoin network. It's going to be the first point of entry, first query is going to be to the seed nodes to join the network, all right? So, there's a few files that you're going to need to know about and that you're going to want to look at. If you're forking your own cryptocurrency, you're going to need to change um, what the seed nodes are, because obviously you're not going to be joining the Bitcoin network anymore, you're going to be joining your network, all right? So, the first um, file that I'd like you to have a look at is something called nodes main .text, okay? And it sounds uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's the main seed, well, it's the, it's the seed nodes for the main network, all right? And as you can see in the Bitcoin code, there are quite a few seed nodes, all right? And that, that lends itself really well to the idea of decentralization and how there is no one single point of failure in the network, okay? Because let's say we knock out this um, seed node, we DDoS this seed, uh, this seed node and it can no longer um, connect to anybody because we've uh, essentially pwned it, right? Um, well, we've got all the rest of the seed nodes that are gonna be attempted to connect, be connected to as well by everybody. So if we're knocking out one or two seed nodes with our attack, the Bitcoin network, it lives, all right? So you're gonna need to have more than one seed node um, I would recommend if you're starting your own altcoin for kind of testing and learning purposes, you should maybe have two or three seed nodes. But if you're going to be launching, um, you know, a legitimate cryptocurrency that you want people to use, you're going to be super vulnerable to DDoSing attacks and all kinds of things like that. So I would recommend having at least 10 seed nodes. And you can ask your community members to make uh, seed nodes for you as well, and you can add them in. Um, and that is certainly true of the Bitcoin network. There's all kinds of contributors with their seed nodes um, that help strengthen the network against those kinds of attacks. So this is a, a kind of a list of those seed nodes here. And you can see here that the default port for Bitcoin is 8333. So you'll have to change that as well. So the next, um, the next file I'd like you to look at um, is something called chain params seeds dot h. All right, um, and as you can see here, we have IP addresses, but instead of the normal way that we would approach IP addresses, um, they have been changed to hex format. All right, so here it says each line contains a 16 byte IPv6 address and port. IPv4 as well as onion addresses are wrapped inside IPv6 addresses accordingly. All right, so that is the second place. And as you can see again, um, the the uh, port for these seed nodes is generally 8333. All right, and for the Bitcoin code, we have a whole bunch of these. All right, so once you've added your seed nodes to your code, you're gonna to have to figure out, well, what port do I want to use, okay? Um, for VeggieCoin, I think the port is uh, 22719, and for Brazio, it's 22780, and for Bitcoin, it's 8333. Um, so generally speaking, you wouldn't want to use the same port as another altcoin, um, because that would restrict what um, mining pools can do. If they have two different coins that want to use the same port, that introduces issues um, with connections and things like that. So you wanna try it and make sure as much as possible, you can never be sure of this, but you wanna to try to make sure as much as possible that you're using a port that um, 
no other cryptocurrency is going to be using, okay? And you've got a whole range of ports, um, but you can never really be sure that you're picking a port that isn't used. But um, if you see, you know, 8333 is Bitcoin's port, so you're not going to want 8333 because there's going to be a lot of mining pools out there that are supporting Bitcoin. So you want to try as hard as possible to make your port unique, okay? And there are a few uh, different places where you're going to have to change your port, all right? The first uh, place you're going to have to change it as well is in chain param seeds, all right? But you're also going to need to change it in a file called um, source slash chain params base dot cpp all right as you can see here line 36 um, there's a reference to the port here all right so we've got the main net port here okay the test net port here and the regression test port here they're not as important to be uh, unique compared to other ports, uh, sorry, compared to other coins because you're not um, going to have your test net mining on a pool, for example, generally speaking, okay? So it's really important that your main net port is unique, but test net and regression test is not as important, all right? So chain params, they have to be um, unique from each other though, that is that is important, all right? Um, so chain params based on CP, that's the next one. And then the final place that you'll need to change um, your port is actually there are two more places all right so we have um, line 524 of the file is called server.cpp and that is in your um, rpc folder all right remote procedure call folder so obviously there's gonna be some port stuff in there all right so line 500 where, where were we all right line 524 um you got to make sure that port is also changed all right and now there's one more file i want to show you that you need to change uh, your port in and that is chainparams.cpp, which is kind of the main um, parameters file for the Bit uh, for the blockchain um, within Bitcoin, the Bitcoin source code. Okay, so that is in source chainparams.cpp. Let's go to that next. Okay, so eight three three. All right, end default port. All right, so you're going to need to change that to your RPC port as well. So that has been a little bit of an explanation about how seed nodes work and why they're important to you. Make sure you subscribe if you're making your own altcoin or if you're just interested in the tech backend kind of information on how cryptocurrencies work and how the Bitcoin network works. And I'll teach you everything there is to know about cryptocurrencies and altcoin development. And as always, remember to hold all for as long as possible.